Hey guys, welcome back to the object-oriented programming course in Python. In this video, we are going to continue what we were doing. And what we're going to create is something called a bookmark app. So remember in the last video I talked about we're going to have a frame with buttons and then when you click them, maybe it'll take you somewhere. So let's call it the bookmark app. And I've created a file up there if you can see that. And uh, so far, let's just see what we have just so we can uh, refresh in our memory uh, where we're at. So essentially, it's this app when we run it. And if I hit 10, it does nothing. If I hit doorbell, it detects and it says you rang the doorbell and it essentially runs this function that we wrote on line five. Cool. Uh, now what we want to do is we want to see if you can try to do this. So like pause the video. See if you can create a button that detects something else. OK, if you haven't done that from the last video. So let's go ahead and do this now. So I'm going to create a new one. And essentially what my button is going to do is it's going to take me to the cleverprogrammer.com website. It's going to open up a new tab and take me there. So first of all, what I have to do is I have to go at the top and import uh, the web browser library. So essentially, we're stealing code from people who spent hundreds of hours writing it by using the import magical command. And we're going to leverage the web browser code, and it's going to make our lives very easy. And essentially, what it's going to do is just say web browser dot open new tab. And this function takes in a URL. So we're going to give it a URL. Uh, we're just going to type it in here, HTTPS clever programmer.com for you you can have this button be whatever you want okay and I'm gonna say um, yeah that looks pretty good to me I'm going to add this as button to bind and I'm gonna bind this to the left click as well of the mouse and the left click short key of the mouse is um, this button essentially right here it's button hyphen mm -hmm. one and now I'm going to attach this button to the second uh, function that we just wrote. So this function is going to be called um, click CP. This function should really be called open CP. So I'm going to give it a better name. I'm going to say open CP. Okay. All right. That looks good to me. And uh, now instead of the text on it saying 10 let's call it clever programmer and now let's run this code let's run it and as you can see it just created a new frame um, that like it added the new button called clever programmer and if I click it in my Chrome it should open a new tab that says clever programmer so let's give it a try I'm gonna click it and indeed, it did open up Clever Programmer. So that's pretty cool. Now, what if I wanted to add another button that maybe takes me to the blog page? So see if you can add that. Pause this video. See if you can add that right now. Again, if you're not pausing this and doing this on your own and really deviating away from the examples I'm just giving you, if you're just really only copying the code, you're not going to retain any information. That's what happens when people take Code Academy. They're not able to retain that information. It just gets lost because you might just copy what they have and then not do anything on your own. So the more, f the farther away you go from my examples, the better you'll become. Think of my examples as just an implication of what you can do and then take that and run with it. So what I'll tell you is that think of it as your assignment. Okay. Take what I've currently given you already in the video and use it to create something cool and add that in the comments below so other people can check out what you have done and it might give them new ideas as well so you know kind of surprise me and everybody else here okay so that's what this does now i'm going to create that blog uh button okay so first of all i'm just going to create the function open uh or let's just call it cp blog takes in an event and we're going to say opens new tab. And essentially what it does is it does here. Let's make our code a little bit better. So I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to say URL is equal to that guy. 
And here I'm just going to replace this with URL. And here what I'm going to do is I'm going to say URL plus and I'm just going to add block to it. Okay, so it's going to take this URL here and all it's going to do is it's going to just add blog in front of it. That's it. So this way I'm reusing my code. If I keep having to create new tabs, I don't have to write that entire URL over and over again. I can do it in a simple way. Let's go down here. I'm going to uh, create the third uh, label. So I'm going to say C label uh, is equal to TK label text is equal to whoops, blog, we can call this home, uh, C label dot grid, let's go column two on this guy and let's stay in row zero. And then we can say button three is equal to button window, add that in the window. The text for this should be CP blog and button three for grid. Let's put that in column. I think we can put this button in column two. And for row, let's keep the row one. And now let's go ahead and bind this guy to the left click of the mouse. And now we're going to throw in the function CP blog. And let's give this a try. So I oh, I got to end my previous session. Okay, so I just ran my code. And you can see I have doorbell, which if I click, it just says doorbell. If I click clever programmer, it'll take me to the home page. And for the blog, if I click this button, it should open up the blog. So let me click this and let's see what happens. And there you go. It just took me to the Clever Programmer blog page. So if you want to learn how to do this and a lot more, like for example, creating a game of Pong or creating a calculator from scratch and creating apps on your own using Python. So you connect your Python coding knowledge to actually creating apps and you want to learn more about this. I've put a link together for you below that you can actually click and just put in your first name and your email address and I'll send you five free exclusive pieces of content from the learn Python object oriented programming course. Okay, there's no cost to you. And in that course, I'll show you how you can do these things by yourself. All right, so go ahead and put your email address and your first name in there. And I'll see you on the other side.